present you uh, the first results of our big project. Uh, it's a project of State Historical Museum of uh, Moscow, of Russia, and the biggest institute, uh, nuclear institute of uh, our country, Kurchatov Institute. It's a first presentation of our results. Uh, it would not be an overstatement that the burial mount Chorna Magila, Black Mount, situated in the town Chernigov, is one of the most famous sites of the old Rus state formation period, dated to the 9th, 11th century. Professor Dmitry Samoklasov, one of the pioneering researchers of Slavonic antiquities in Russian Empire, excavated the pagan burial in 1872-73. The mount was of considerable size, reaching 40 meters in the diameter and 11 meters in height. The monumental burial contained a cremation of presumably two male and one female individuals. The lavish grave goods comprised hundreds of buried artifacts, including silver adorned writings, weaponry, two helmets, two pieces of chainmail armor, two swords, two sabers, spearheads, arrowheads, and idol, a copy figurine of store. The finding uh, gained massive public attention since the artifacts were frequently presented at various exhibitions. As early as uh, 1874, the burial goods were exhibited during the first uh, Russian Archaeological Congress in Kiev. This was the beginning of the collection's uh, journey. The complex was uh, then presented at the University of Warsaw when Professor Samakvasov held office. The artifacts from the um, elite burial uh, were even included in the Russian Empire's exposition during the World Fair in Paris in 1878. Uh, the finding impressed the public to the point that uh, information on the Chorna Magilla Mount as one of the world's wonders was included in the encyclopedia La Nouvelle Géographie Universelle, La Terre des Hommes by Elude Reclus. Moreover, British museum executives offered some aquasov to buy out his collection. In 1879, the finds were uh, displayed at the archaeological exhibition in Moscow. Finally, in 1891, Samoklasov donated his entire collection of antiquities to the Russian Historical Museum in Moscow. Thenceforth, the burial goods from the Chorna Magilla Mount became the trademark of the museum's medieval collection <coughs> and have never since left its permanent exposition. I'm sorry, can you speak a little bit louder? Louder? Yeah, they oh, here I, I try, I try to do my best. Uh, regrettably, the notion of collections integrity at the time was still not generally accepted as a principle of cultural heritage. Therefore, the Chorna Magilla complex lacked entirety when added to the historical museum collection. For instance, some artifacts were given to St. Vladimir University in Kiev already in 1874. A monolith section of the funeral pyre was pasted to the Chernigov Scientific uh, Archival Commission's museum. Some doubles ended up in private collections. Nowadays, artifacts from Chorna Magila complex beyond, uh, beyond the historical museum collections are unidentifiable. Some artifacts are lost, others probably lost provenance during the wars and revolution uh, during the 20th century. Grave goods from Chorna Magila and other remarkable old Rus burials excavated in the end of 19th century made a great impact on Russian society, sparking interest among contemporary for the initial pagan period of national history. Weaponry and armor from Chorna Magila became basis for reconstruction of the looks of old Rus prince and his retinue. 
These images migrated from historical literature to monumental painting and folk tale books illustrations. Surprisingly enough, the complex uniqueness and fame led to little new research uh, being made. As our latest research shows, some artifacts mm, uh, underwent through barbaric restoration of the mid 20th century that tempered with the initial shape of the finds. The latest research of uh, the Chorna Magilla collection uh, using modern scientific methods began in 2017 with the support of Russian Sci Science Foundation. A preliminary investigation of the long known artifacts led to some unexpected results. The first object to be studied was a poorly preserved spearhead with cross inlaid on both sides of its blade. It's a unique artifact uh, whose ornamentation, some scholars argue, belongs not just to the pagan uh, tradition uh, uh, strengthening uh, the weapon, uh, but could signify uh, its uh, wilder was familiar with Christianity. Its ray tomography revealed uh, that the famous spearhead was uh, constructed by restorers from three different artifacts. Two spearheads and another strange object with scalloped edges, edges that couldn't possibly be part of, of a spear of any other weapon. The scalloped edged object was uh, separated from the rest and partially cleaned of corrosion pro products, uh, thus revealing uh, it was inlaid with a silver wire and mounted with decorative parts, uh, which purpose eluded us. The second object that uh, underwent research uh, was a knife interpreted as a sax. This artifact uh, also turned out to have been wrongly assembled by restorers from three fragments. A complex of uh, visualization techniques uh, was used, including uh, synchrotronious and neutronious introscopy and tomography, X-ray, computer tomography, by specialists of National Research Center Kurchatov Institute. To our surprise, the visualization revealed the following. The extreme fragment of the sacs that scalloped uh, edges and an ornamental inlaid pattern. Uh, traces of silver wire reminded only uh, several dots on the surface, probably due to exposure to high temperature from the funeral pyre. The main part of the sacks also had scalloped edges, thus the battle knife interpretation was ruled out. No ornament was discovered, Instead, the visualization revealed a complex structure of uh, the handle with two polyhedral knobs. The ornamental, ornamental pa uh, pattern of the scalloped edged object previously attached to the spear was identi identical with the extreme fragment of the sacks. Its decorative mounts had been actually used to repair the object with uh, had been broken in two halves. The breaking uh, line can be seen here. Finally, the extremity of the object in lies the existence of a handle. To sum up, the two ornamented fragments wrongly attached, attached to the spearhead and knife from uh, <coughs> form a single scalloped uh, edged object. The main part of the knife also turned out to be a similar scalloped edged bar with a handle, but without ornamentation. Let's address uh, the problem of interpretation of revealed objects. The ornamentation pattern and design of the artifacts uh, leaves little doubt in this Kalimelian provenance. This geometrical ornamentation comprised of interwoven stripes and interlacing knots 
one of the main features of uh, the decorated, uh, decorative uh, metalwork of Viking period. Uh, it could and uh, could uh, probably be assigned to the Mamin style, dated to the second half of the 10th century. The second feature, inferring um, northern uh, design, is the handle with polyhedral knobs. Such decoration of iron tools, scissors, keys, uh, and others, with bronze knobs uh, is typical of Scandinavian craftsmanship of the Viking Age. Instead, the knobs uh, on artifact uh, from Chorna Magilla are made of iron from the same bar. The scalloped aged bars have no known analogies, nor do they have any uh, apparent utilitarian value. Uh, whereas their uh, um, uh, intrinsic value is uh, evidenced by the fact that the broken artifact underwent thorough repair, which implies it had some purpose. We can, at this point, formulate a hypothesis that uh, these artifacts from the Chorna Magilla complex could be identified in, as barbarian scepters. The term was first proposed by scholars investigating the Saturn Hu uh, ship burial dating to the, the 7th century AD, describing in, uh, a long wet stone covered with human faces on each side and a ring mount topped by a bronze stack figurine. The scholars argued that the tradition of using sepulchers, a royal insignia, uh, uh, was inherited from the late Roman period. Sources of later use of scepter by barbarian chieftains during the Merovingian period are scarce. Instead, the Carolingian period offers some uh, pictorial evidence. From the 11th century, uh, scepter became commonly uh, used, uh, and for example, Edward the Confessor and Harold appear holding different scepters in the bio tapestry. All the mentioned above sepulchres have little in common in design, <coughs> but supposedly this insignia depended gr greatly of the tribal perception and dynastical beliefs of the barbaric periphery of Europe. Magical features of the Chorna Magilla scepter may not be uh, ruled out either. Uh, it is worth mentioning that such features are ascribed uh, to another type of array uh, non-functional files. Big iron staffs adorned with polyhedral knobs found mostly in Viking Age female burial. Nail Price uh, ga uh, gathered uh, an extensive catalogue of this object and regards them as magical staffs of sorcery and at the same time indicating high social rank. The Chorna Magilla burial is a favorite burial. Two men, an adult and uh, an adolescent, were cremated there, probably accompanied by one or several women. The presented research unveiled, uh, unveiled two unique artifacts, which presumably could have been dynastical insignia. The repaired scepter uh, with the inlaid ornamentation could have been a generic patrimonial attribute, whereas the second one, a humble imitation of local crafting. As a conclusion. Um, a thorough examination of one of the oldest and most remarkable con collections of state historical museum unveiled the complicated story behind the Chorna Magilla complex. The lack of the collection collection's integrity was due to the undeveloped precept of cultural uh, heritage in the late 19th century. The challenging history of the 20th century resulted in, uh, in utter oblivion of traces of the Chorna Magilla grave goods kept beyond the historical museum. The complex prominence and constant exhibition led to little new research into its uh, composition. The use of modern scientific methods applied uh, to the artifacts revealed ma many restoration errors 
that tempered with the initial shape of the find. The research uh, uh, resulted in the discovery of previously unknown type of artifact, presumably barbarian scepters, which infer in even more significant, maybe princely, status of the buried man. Thank you for your attention.